Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, there's more than one way to get back into sync. All right, so sometimes you're out of sync by mistake, sometimes you're intentionally out of sync. The video and the audio are not lined up. The cool thing is in Premiere Pro, it'll show you how many frames you're out and it'll put it right back in place for you. Let's go have a look. So I've selected a spot right here where we've got um, a firefighter hitting the window very hard. So let's roll this. So right there, two strikes. And we can see that's in sync. Now down in the timeline, what I'm going to do is I'll select, I'll, first of all, I'm going to turn off linked selection. So now when I select the video or the audio, they're not linked. I'm going to select the top and move it to the left. And you'll see I'm now um, out of sync by 13 frames. So you can see in the top, minus 13 on the video, plus 13 on the audio. If we play this back, You can see how far off we are. That's actually the uh, uh, the other uh, video here, or the other audio here that you might be hearing. So it's way out of sync. So how do we fix that? Well, if you very carefully hover over one of the numbers and click with your right mouse or control click on the Mac, you'll see two choices, move or slip into sync. We're going to explain both of them. You'll also notice the same for audio, move or slip. Now, if you just accidentally move that top video, just move it back in your set. This is more about, uh, the choices are more about giving you options for when you want to slip or move and, and just have a little bit more control. So let's look at each of them. So you can see let me zoom in here. You can see that's the hole over here that was left after I moved that clip over to the uh, left. So if I right click and move into sync, it's going to move that clip exactly back. It will not fill in that hole. I can fill in the hole by clicking and dragging over there, but just to let you know that that hole is still there. So now when we play it, boom, it's in sync. Let's go back and try the other option. And again, this is where you have to kind of be careful. Slip into sync. So just to, so that you don't know what slip is, slip means that you keep the edit points where they are and you're moving the video underneath the edit points. So it will look like nothing has happened, but the, the video within the, the in and out point have, has actually moved. So watch this. Slip into sync. Now let's play it back. You can see it worked. We now have a hole over here where we've got uh, an offset cut here, an L cut, where you can see the video is actually starting before the audio is starting. The bottom line is slip into sync keeps our edit points, but it moves everything back into sync. Let's do the, all of this, the exact same things with the audio now. So let me undo, back down to the bottom, right click, let's move into sync move and you can see it moved it right over and now everything's in sync. Now we have a black hole there which we could if we wanted to click in there and delete and fill that up but let's try slip into sync and again you're not going to see much of a difference you will see the waveforms move. Slip into sync see the waveforms have moved earlier now and everything is in sync. So Premiere Pro will show you and give you two choices to do um, of how you want to put that back into sync for both audio or video. Well, hopefully you found this informative. If you have them, please click on the subscribe button to Video Reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a special link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.